I'm with BSNL CMD Praveen Kumar ji. Sir, uh, new course and new MOU you have signed with Anna University and IIT Madras. What is new about it you're going to talk? The new uh, MOU which we have signed with the Anna University is to bridge the gap between academic functions and the industry. As on date, the telecommunication services has become ever pervasive to each and every place and there is a lot of requirement of a trained professional in telecom services. We find the students which are coming out from the schools or colleges are to be further trained. So the gap between the knowledge they have acquired in the colleges and required by the industry need to be bridged. This course will bring the practical knowledge to them so that they should be battle ready to be deployed in the network from the day one. Sir, as you said that the, you are going to give them skill training and battle ready. It means then after co the course completion, there should not be any sort of training, especially students from the telecom sector. So how many of the students do, uh, do you think that BSNL is going to absorb? See, BSNL is have two models. One is its own employee base and second is the partnership model. Today, we have 50,000 partners of FTTH which are going all the villages and uh, uh, talukas and the uh, grams panchayat where they are being employed. So we find that six lakh villages need to be covered with the fiber to home as per the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister in the next three years. For that, 2,25,000 OLTs need to be deployed for provision of 1.54 crore connection. For that, nearly 10 lakh people will be required in terms of employment and the ability and capability to handle the telecom equipment as well as the fiber equipment. So these will be the opportunity will be available in the market both in the industry as well in BSNL or BSNL partner to take it forward. Sir, uh, now uh, uh, don't mind saying me this BSNL uh, people have very different different of abbreviation of BSNL. I don't want to mention it on the camera. Yeah. But then when and uh, how you're going to incarnate BSNL in new things, new technology and you said uh, BSNL is soon going to launch 4G services also. Can you talk about more about that? See, BSNL network is going through a complete transformation in terms of upgradation of technology. We were earlier only a 2G, 3G company. Now, 4G services in terms of launch has already begun. In Punjab, we have already installed 1300 BTS location E node B already. And every month from here onwards, we will be next one month, we will be installing around 3000 E node B and then 6000 and then 9000 each month. So next one year, the BSNL will have more than a 1 lakh sites in which the 4G will be working. So it is a completely revamped network completely updated network so far as the mobile is concerned and similarly we are upgrading our whole FTTH experience to our customer. BSNL is adding nearly 1 lakh 20,000 customer every month through fiber to the home to the customer. So it is a one of the uh, flagship project for, uh, product for BSNL by the customer and we are improving it further to make it more and more acceptable both in terms of the quality of service as well as in tariff. Sir, uh, now uh, what is the delay uh, of, uh, you know, launching this 4G service and when we can expect the 5G services? Yeah. See, the BSNL is a company of the government of India and government has taken a decision. The BSNL will be leveraged for development of indigenous 4G technology. If we see in the world, only five countries are there which have the 4G technology developed by them. With the development of 4G technology in India, India has become fifth country in the world which has its own 4G technology. It has an implication in terms of national security, in terms of the network uh, being deployed of the indigenous technology so that the development, manufacturing, everything is taking place in the country. And because of the development electricity which has been taken with the BSNL, it has taken a little bit larger time. But now these development electricities are over. The network deployment has started from Punjab, Himachal, Uttarakhand, UP West and Haryana. 
so five circles the already the develop uh, the deployment has started and within a period of one month it will be started in all across the country and over a period of one year that means 2024 the full deployment of one lakh sites will be completed and what about 5g services 5g will be uh, bsnl the equipment which we are deploying is uh, upgradable to 5g through software that means no new hardware required to be done with software only you can upgrade so december 24 is the timeline for deployment of 5g on these sites which has been already been deployed through 4g technology now talking about iit collaborating with iit sir industry academia is coming together so what more we can expect talking but you were just saying that you know you industry ready material you're going to uh, you make it ready by these kind of programs but what sort of initiative you are expecting from the institution in technology wise so that you know in coming days is there uh, bsnl planning to up uh, you know come up with any new technology or in advance with the help See, of iit Telecom is one sector where every six months some upgrade or some network uh, new technology comes in the sector. So you require always upgradation of technology, replacement of technology, redeployment of technology and IIT Madras is a powerhouse. So far as the incubation of technology is concerned or the deployment of technology is concerned. So we will work along with them. Number one is the indigenous product can be developed. Because our, our interest will be, instead of importing the equipment from other countries, we should support the indigenous technology development. And IIT Madras takes many research work which, are, which support the indigenous technology development. Very recently when we were discussing with them, already they have developed the, some of the equipment regarding 5G core and 5G RAN which they have given as a part of a technology collaboration with Tejas, which is also the partner of BSNL. So BSNL is working along with the Tejas company to upgrade the network to 5G. So these are the complete package which is coming along with the IIT Madras that BSNL being a live network can provide the industry requirement as well as provide the network for deployment and, and, and checking of that whether it is working properly or not. IIT Madras being a research institution can develop the product which can be deployed in the BSL network. So indigenous journey of the nation in terms of technology upgradation, design and de manufacturing and deployment can take place together by both the, both the institutions. So this is Praveen Kumarji, who, uh, CMD of BSL who is saying that in uh, collaborating with IIT will help to develop indigenous uh, products which can be exported to other countries from India. With this is uh, with camera person Manoharan. This is Ritesh Ranjan, DD News Chennai.